Well, we have made it through week 33 of Droughtland, or as we wait for season 7, part 2. It's so annoying saying that. Please give us season 7, part 2, because I'm really sick and tired of saying we are waiting for season 7, part 2, or even the B-sides. We know we're going to get it in November, but that is such a long time to wait. Thankfully, we have each other, and uh, we also have the amazing number of scammers out there. Yes, once again, I get to depress us all with yet another announcement of a scam. And now there's way more out there than I can show you, but every now and then there are just some fun ones worth a share. Specifically, this one has been identified by one David Stewart and shared so that we can all be aware of Sam Hewn Official. Yes, this one, he's inviting himself or anybody to have a little chat. Let's chat live dear uh, again i'm assuming an ai would have a discussion with you in very clipped words but yeah yet another one instagram super filled with fraud so is twitter so is everywhere i mean let's be fair again spread the word make sure nobody falls victim of these ridiculously bad fakes um make sure that people are just aware that this this would never happen sam Hune has his official instagram i love sharing things from it with you these guys are foolish and uh we're all smarter than this yes all right spread the word keep each other safe guys and we are going to move on to some really fun throwback images yes i love sharing these you know that outlander online shares these throwback to lauren caesar and caitlin behind the scenes of outlander quite a few images to share here and as she says you can see uh we've got lauren <laughs> that's her nose we've got lauren we've got caesar and we've got caitlin back there I'm, she's got a red cape or just playing with some fabric that's interesting and uh, let's see what other fun images we have all oh, there we have with the not quite a baby and uh, uh I, I wanted to say jemmy but germaine and well there's caesar with his <laughs> he is doing a naughty having a smoke with his not a hand that that's that takes some talent right there in practice which tells you just how long he's been playing this part while we might not see him this season it's nice to see him and there we are again. Okay, this is the wedding? No. Yes, maybe. Anybody tell me if this is the wedding? I'm going to guess it's the wedding. Look, they look all pretty and nice. And out with uh, with Rolo, I'm guessing. I can't quite tell from this angle, but I mean, who else is it going to be? And Caitlin gets to have a little pat with Rolo. And more. <laughs> It's got to be fun having a couple of pets on the on the set. If you need a cuddle, they're right there. Another image of Caitlin, just a smiling. Uh, if you haven't checked out some of the posts about her poetry, she does spoken poetry, and uh, yeah, a lot of other fun hobbies that get to be spread around by our our uh, fandom. Checking in on our actors, see what they're up to. Lovely. And now we're just chilling. I do love, we're just sitting at the big house. Oh, and there's this crew behind here that you can see. So behind the scenes. And while that was our last image with Caitlin and Caesar and Lauren, we do have another behind the scenes here of a very important game of Scrabble played during a season one. We can tell that simply because the fact that this guy is sitting here. Yeah. Hi, Graham. How we doing? Uh, I wonder who's winning Scrabble. This one was shared by Batgirl95UA continuing way back Wednesday. A handful of you requested to see the older behind the scenes photos that I used to create my season one reel. Here is one of many photos provided by stars that I have in my collection. That is the big difference between uh, like Outlander Online, Batgirl 95UA, and uh, the uh, 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 Balf Nation. They've been doing this longer than I have. I have a collection of images, but nothing compared to these guys. It's great to go check out their archives, and this is a wonderful share. And since we do have Graham here, I kind of rolls into what I was going to share from his Instagram here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this video created by he and his wife here in just a minute. Outlander Obsessed shares Graham and Garrence at Keepers of the... Yeah, I'm going to pronounce that one. Oh, there's Diana. Uh, event at Blair Castle. And look who they ran into March 25th. 2024. Hello. No, no, I'm supposed to ask you. So where are we, Graham? We're at Blair Castle in Perthshire, um, home of the only private army in Europe, which makes me feel very safe. Uh, 
Now on Graham McTavish's post, he's got a lot more stuff here. This one says, The Highlands Part 1, just back from another visit to Scotland. A fabulous night at Blair Castle for the keepers of the... I'm still not going to try to pronounce that ceremony. As you can see, as you can see, a giant... Yep. Along with a giant haggis, very rare to still find one in the wild of that size, and the wonderful Robert Lovey delivering a tremendous address. The video is not me shooting a haggis. Uh, the hawk is named Margo, and thanks as always to uh, Garen, it's a, oh, Garen Sador for making me look half decent. Ah, yes, the wives always were very helpful. The Glengas Hotel, Blair Castle, a whole estate. And so, yeah, we've got this video, and I probably should turn on the sound. We are having a second run through. Anybody mind if I turn it on halfway through? No, let's go ahead and check it out. The cag is fed. The trembling earth resounds his dread. Clap on his wally, nerve and blade. He'll mack them whistle and legs and arms and heats all snared. vessels. Now, you powers that mack mankind your care and dish them out their bill of fare. All Scotland wants nae stinking wear the jouts and luggies. But if you wish her grateful prayer, gee ha, let's say it together. Ah, Thank you. Now about that reading, you know there's something about it that makes me think of uh, memorizing the Canterbury Tales when I was in uh, uh, high school. We had to memorize it. And if you've ever had to memorize the Canterbury Tales, uh, when the April, and that's all I remember at this point, um, it sounds poetic, it sounds like English, it's not quite because it's old English, but if you read it enough and you listen to it, the poetry of it makes sense and you can understand it. I feel like that type of discussion with that thick of an accent, if I just heard it enough, I'd be able to figure it out. Did he get it? Oh dear. That'll do. Here it comes now, Graham. Pass it. Did he get it? Oh dear. That'll do. I couldn't tell if he got it. Uh, but, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's the... Uh, <laughs> very cool. He's doing some um, uh, falconry. Yes, got the glove on too. You can see because otherwise, man, the claws would just dig into him. Very cool. Thank you. They're, they're looking magnificent. That's oh, that was fantastic. Thanks so much for the share, Graham. I, I love that he shares things that otherwise people like myself and possibly you just wouldn't see it. Um, without a little uh, push in the right direction. Oh, this is what we should learn a little bit more about. It's very cool. And to see some of these uh, traditions played out live. Personally, I've always wanted to try haggis. I grew up on hot dogs. Um, I feel like that we would we just sort of put a bunch of random meat together inside something and call it a meal that it's worth a try because it's been there for ages. Kids survived on hot dogs. People have survived on haggis. I realize that the ingredients are the same, but it's the uh, the strange mixture of this is what we need to survive and, and, and putting it inside a, a I want to say a piece of uh, an organ of some sort, the, but the, the sheath of an organ to make sure that it all cooks together. I really feel like I'd like haggis. I don't know why, but I'm going to give that a try sometime. All right, enough about me. I do, of course, have a couple more things to share. Uh, one is going to be a little more Caesar. He's been sharing more and more pictures lately. And for a long time, a lot of you asked about Caesar. And I just hardly had anything to share ever. And uh, lately, I say he's been putting out a few pics. So this one is a Caesar and Don Boy posting. Dynamic duos caught on film spring and summer of 2023. And it is just a couple of images. But um, I believe this gentleman with him is Sam Demeshek, who is his first commenter right here. Just he looks like that guy. So I'm going to call this guy Sam. <laughs> it's not the same Sam, though. They are hanging out here having a meal, it looks like. And in this picture, we've got them again just hanging out. No meal, though, just relaxing. Either they have just gone out and they're taking a break, or they're ready to go out and they're getting, uh, I don't know, not really pumped up, relaxed beforehand. And this last image, frolicking in the ocean. 
what a beautiful view, though. Uh, not talking about the guys. It's a beautiful view. The guys are lovely as well. But that's a lovely view. I like that little island in the background. Kind of a mystery. So, yeah. Thanks, Caesar. That's a really nice share as well. Don't get a lot from them. Happy to get what we do. And if it's the end of the video, which it is, by the way, um, you know who I'm going to show next. And, of course, he's making us yet another drink. Yes, yes, this is Sassanach Classics, and this is the Sassanach Bee's Knees. Why is it called the Bee's Knees? Because this cocktail is the Bee's Knees. You're going to love it. Two ounces of Sassanach Wild Scottish Gin, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of good, good, organic, wholesome honey, and a lemon twist to garnish. Let's make a wee Bee's Knees. We're going to need ice. We're going to need two ounces of gin. It's a lovely little cocktail, this. Then we're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of your freshly squeezed lemon juice. Perfect, and then you could use honey syrup, but we like to use good Scottish heather honey. Those little bees have been working so hard to make this delicious honey. I'm gonna put in, I don't know, like a spoonful Oh, uh -huh, it's the medicine. Go, yeah, you got it. There we go. Get that in there. Maybe a little bit more, actually. This is going to be this cocktail. The bee's knees. And then, of course, we have to shake it. One day, I'll get this right. Uh-oh. Why, thank you. I've just been handed a well, lamp thing from a little bee. A little bee just flew in here and gave me a little lemon thing. Thank you, bee. Oh, he's off to make more honey. There we go. Right. It's amazing what happens in this bar. Here we go. I'm going to strain the bee's knees into your glass. Double straining so there's no ice shards. The bees would be happy. Go tell the bees that I am happy with this cocktail. Maybe a little bit on the bottom for the bees. Legs and the bees needs. There we go. A little bit on top there. Oh, the bees needs. That cocktail really. Oh. That cocktail really is the bees needs. All right, my fellow Drantlander survivalists, we have uh, reached the end of this video. Now, before you head off and uh, check out one of the other videos, because that's exactly what you must do after a video, all right? Right? Right. Okay. Uh, before you head off, I'm going to let you know that next week is a big week for us. We're going to be doing some announcing. I'm going to be doing a little celebrating for this channel. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be a special video out next Wednesday that's going to be a little celebration video. But you do not want to miss my early week Droughtlander video, which usually comes out on Tuesday at the latest, because I will be announcing where I will be going to for my convention. Yes, for my Outlander convention, my very first Outlander convention. And I have some fantastic news that means I will be able to bring you along. Well, not literally you could get your own airplane seat and ticket and i would be happy to see you um, but i'm going to be able to uh share some of it with you and i will tell you how i will tell you when i will tell you where next week so please stay tuned to all my patrons and members thank you again for your continued support it will pay off here shortly uh, do not forget to also pay attention next week i'll be discussing how i'm going to give away my extra t-shirts and hats from the convention i went to last weekend if you've enjoyed this video it's not one of my normal ones again my smiling face is not quite camera ready but i should be back again up to snuff next week so you should see me back then but yes, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell if you want to be sure to know when I put out my next video. Thank you everyone for coming on by and having a view of this one. And until next time, check out any of the videos on this channel and I will see you there.